Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back with a new Let's Play. Uh, what the? Hey, there's no video games here. What the hell is? What the hell is? What the hell is this? Well, hey viewers, it's been uh, one year since uh, it's my it's been my uh, one year anniversary, and this is uh, gonna be my one year anniversary video. You know. Thought I I would have uh, make one of these videos to reflect on you know the objectives of this channel and you know it's uh, and, and you know give you guys an idea of you know what I'm uh, what I've been doing what I'm uh, trying to do uh, what I'm uh, trying to do now and what I'm trying what I'm going to do in the future so it's gonna be one of those videos that's gonna reflect on that. So, yeah, on October 31st, 2018, I, I uploaded my uh, first video on this channel, titled Let's Play El Shaddai Ascension of the, Ma of the Metatron. Yes, viewers, this was my first... Uh, uh, let's play, or you know, starting the idea of uh, doing let's plays. Oh, I, I don't know if I should be calling them let's plays. Viewers, let me tell you about my objective in this channel. And let me show it to you right here. What the? Is this twitch.tv slash have for nice day? E oh, yes, it is. It's, uh, it's not YouTube. This is uh, my uh, this is my Twitch channel actually. This is where I actually s uh, been streaming uh, video games. I'm, and I've been streaming video games here for the longest uh, of time actually. Uh, if I recall correct correctly, actually yeah, uh, Twitch will show you uh, when you actually started your account. And yeah, I mainly started this account mainly to start streaming video games because you know what, viewers. I like video games, you know, kinda. Well, I think they're all right, and uh, most importantly, uh, the thing that I like about video games, I actually like, you know, talking about video games, having a conversation about them, and trying to find, you know, people that actually talk about them, whether it's, you know, uh, be something uh, like small, as in. Uh, Talking about the graphics, talking about the, uh, talking about the aesthetics, talking about talking about how fun they were, talking about the story elements, uh, reminiscing on some of the uh, good the good games that been uh, that we've played, uh, you know, uh, years and years ago, and hope for the uh, best in the coming years, or, you know, actually talking about you know video games as in. You know, in design, in uh, in uh, in uh, you know, in the in design element, in uh, talk about you know, uh, de you know, de uh, you know, deeper subject about video games like you know, game design, uh, uh, you know, uh, the subjects of uh, video games that actually uh, have been uh, you know have been you know that game that t talked about uh, su a subject probably even and and the g and the subject that uh, video games uh, try to shy off i like actually talking about video games uh, uh, you know quite a bit viewers quite a bit and my main objective here actually you know uh, with twitch is uh, to actually try and make a a group of people try and meet a group of people that actually you know Try and, to, and talk about uh, uh, video games in any shape, way, or form. One big problem, though, viewers. Uh, I should be able to show it here. One big problem, viewers. Even though I've been streaming since uh, July 6th, 2012, I only have 65 uh, followers. And let me tell you, viewers, my streams, uh, they are mostly uh, not filled with people. There's not a lot of people that actually join my uh, 
my streams and you know and I said, hey, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there where I'll actually every time I stream, I'll have, you know, a big, uh, uh, you know, big amount of people that actually will will watch me and talk. Um, more importantly, talk uh, with me about video games. But it's been seven years now, and uh, the th uh, the main, uh, you know, the uh, it, nothing ha has changed, or at least. Nothing has changed uh, a lot, unfortunately. And you know what? I mean, I've been uh, I've been researching and been talking about uh, this uh, to a lot of uh, people, a lot of people that actually stream and uh, and uh, create content, uh, whether it's uh, on Twitch or on YouTube, and especially on the people on Twitch. And I uh, came up with the you know the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, I'm gonna say it's a fact that on Twitch, if you're really small, you're not. It's gonna be almost impossible for you to grow to grow, especially with the amount of people that are actually streaming and growing. In any, uh, in, uh, you know, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people uh, actually trying to do the same and trying to grow. And it's really hard for someone uh, that's really, really doesn't stream a lot. I, yeah, I really do not stream a lot, mainly because, you know, I'm. Uh, this is not a this is not uh, this is not a career for me. I'm not I'm not streaming video games for a living. It's only a hobby. I have uh, I work uh, around sixty hours a week. Uh, not to mention the other uh, uh, post work obligations that I have. Like I'm not gonna be able to stream a lot, unfortunately, or even play a lot of video games in uh, in general. So. Uh, actually growing in number, you know, growing a follower, uh, you know, growing a lot of followers and having a lot of views, it's gonna be something really hard if I'm gonna stick to this. And this is where my YouTube channel uh, came to. Yeah, I started this YouTube channel because... Uh, Mainly, if I'm uh, usually when I go to uh, when I go to stream something, I don't stream new games. I don't stream uh, blind playthrough for the uh, simple reason that uh, that I really don't like. I don't really like it when people actually, you know, come in and spoil games for me. So, uh, like I, I I like to you know have uh, people have all the freedom to talk to me about a video game and when people start talking about a video game that I haven't played and they actually have uh, it's gonna be uh, really hard for me to actually enjoy it since it's gonna be a first time for me it's gonna be a blind playthrough there's a lot of specific that I'm gonna concentrate on uh, that I cannot consider. And so, of course, there's gonna be the uh, the the chance, probably small chance, but there is the chance of someone dropping in and you know spoiling the game to me. Whether it is gonna be you know a uh, story narrative spoiler or even like gameplay mechanics spoiler, which uh, I really don't enjoy. That I enjoy, you know, having. Uh, Little to no prob. Uh, 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 actually, and I, uh, I like to know nothing about a video game, whether it's uh, be uh, you know story elements or even gameplay elements, as much as possible before I actually start the game. And I like to discover these uh, myself. I think these are a, a an essential part of uh, uh, discovering these and knowing them and experiencing 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 them uh you know uh first time is an essential uh essential part of enjoying the video game itself so that's uh, one of the main reason that i don't really stream uh blind playthroughs at all so this is where my youtube youtube channel comes i thought hey 
I might as well just do what I do best and, you know, try and talk about the, the game that I'm trying to in play and enjoy and just go ahead and record it. And let's see how things will work for me. And so far... Uh... <laughs> uh it's uh, it's definitely uh, an increased in number, which I appreciate. I appreciate all the people that actually subscribe to my channel and are actually enjoying the uh, stream of content that I'm uploading. So, thank you very much. Um, I really uh, I really hope that you uh, guys uh, are enjoying uh, the content that I'm making, and hopefully, uh, feel free to talk to me and uh, you know discuss uh, the game at any point in whether it's on the youtube channel or on twitch when i'm streaming so uh, feel free to do that and again thank you very much so yeah the increase even though the it is appreciated and i do appreciate it i i'm not you know i'm not aiming for it to to bring big numbers but uh, as i said before my the the objective for, of this channel is to actually get you know create a community that talks uh, that talk about the video their video games you know in and as i said in any shape of or form so i really uh, hope that uh, in uh, some way in the future, I'll actually be able to obtain that objective. Maybe create a community with, uh, with that where we can actually play. Uh, you know, uh, you know, in uh, what do you call it? Probably join in chat and talk about video games. Join in in multiplayer sessions. You know, enjoy uh, certain video games that. Uh, that's uh, kind of hard to find games for. Like, there's a lot of video multiplayer video games that you cannot find people uh, for, and uh, the only th the only way to play them is to actually uh, schedule it uh, in the you know in some uh, sometime in the future in the future where we you know in this certain time in the month we're gonna play this certain game. Uh, where we'll be, uh, we'll have, you know, we'll, you know, where we'll have fun and whatnot. This is one of the, my objectives, actually. You know, create that kind of community that want to play video games and talk uh, about them. It's pretty simple. Uh, not in any shape, way, or form, I want to make this uh, my career something that I actually gain money from. If I will do that in the future, I will uh, definitely welcome it, but I'm not going to dedicate a lot of time to it. Mainly because uh, I think, uh, you know, for me, as, as a grown-ass person, which with uh, so little luxury, uh, you, know, uh, you know, free time uh, in his hand, uh, not a lot of luxury in that department, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, time is actually, uh, you know, being a really scarce, you know, and valuable thing to me that that I don't have a lot of time to uh, to enjoy the things that I want to enjoy, and one of them actually is uh, uh, video games. And I don't want to make video games something that actually gonna be it's gonna be something that related to work i want i want i want my video game experience to actually relate to something that i want uh, that i want to look forward to something that i that when i uh, i when i start a video game i just want to unwind and enjoy the experience itself whether it's a single player uh, experience or a multiplayer session with the friends uh, family or community members that's, uh, I don't want to make uh, video games uh, a job for me because I've seen people that uh, you know dedicate their time in creating content using video games and uh, I can see them uh, trying to hustle into uh, buying new video games and playing them because it's mainly because it's the hot stuff, not because it's actually something that they would want to enjoy. Not at all. Not to mention that playing video games all the time sounds like something that's gonna be really, really boring to do. I gotta be honest with you, viewers. Even though, you know, video games are all, all right, but playing video games 24 hour a day or, you know, uh, I don't know, like 70 hour, uh, 70 hour 
probably 80 hour a week that's uh that's not uh, that doesn't sound fun at all not to mention that it's not actually 70 in 8 hours it's going to it's probably going to be like uh, 30 hours a week and the rest of the year and probably uh, 40 to 50 hours into editing stuff and uh, trying to uh, trying to uh, you know to uh, attend to social media and trying to uh, you know uh, publicize your uh, your work on on whatnot. It's a lot of it's a lot of work, and I'm not I, and I'm not doing that. The only thing that I'm doing that I'm doing here in this channel is just record the, my gameplay, do as minimal editing as possible, and just upload the session. And hopefully, someone would actually enjoy it, enjoy it, and hopefully, uh, you know, talk to him and talk to the to these people, and uh, you know. And sharing uh, the good stuff. So, yeah. So that's actually the main objective of this uh, channel. M pretty much. Uh, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, one thing that I actually want to show here, viewers, is... Uh, I actually want to re reflect... It's been uh, one year, as I said. It's been one year. I want to reflect on the things that I actually uh, did here, the games that I played, the games that I uh, uh, that are games that I played, uh, whether it uh, whether it uh, recorded offline or streamed on Twitch. So uh, I am going to go ahead and and do that. So uh, one thing that we actually need to do before we do that, hmm, we are missing something here. Hmm. Something that would make this uh, whole talk more, at least, uh, well, uh, b for you guys, probably a little bit, a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully, you guys are going to going to enjoy this video. So, huh? How about we do this? Ah, music, video game music. Huh. Bonus points to the uh, to those who actually can guess. Uh, the game uh, related to this uh, music, and I actually streamed that game. For, uh, by the way, well, not the full playthrough, but I've definitely streamed uh, a uh, a few session of it. I really enjoyed it a lot. Maybe I will stream it into the future. Who knows? <laughs> Anywho, we started with uh, El Shaddai, the Ascension of Metatron, a game that is. Uh, even though I enjoy it a lot, I don't really think highly of because uh, I think the combat was weak. The combat wasn't that uh, uh, fun. And you know, fun fact, viewers. Actually, the first few sessions of uh, this game, I uh, I actually uh, this is the first hour of this game. I actually recorded all of the uh, all of this session. Actually. Uh, after I finished the game, because I, uh, because when I actually decided to do these uh, quote-unquote let's plays, I actually decided on them uh, in the not in the probably in the first uh, two to three hours uh, uh, while playing this game. So well, this is where I decided, hey, my, I might as well actually try and do that. Probably this things will work. I really don't know. So, yeah, El Shaddai. I think the game was okay. I cannot recommend it actually, but uh, uh, it's an action game. Uh, 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 the aesthetic was definitely the best thing that was ab uh, the best thing about it, but uh, that's about it. Unfortunately, the game. I don't think the game is actually something that I really can recommend to everyone. Second of all, I started the uh, the playthrough of Dust. An Elysian Tale, and this is a game. Uh, this is a Metroidvania game that uh, that uh, you know. Uh, a lot of people definitely criticized its aesthetic about it. You know, being you know the uh, the animation being uh, you know uh, subpar. You know, and which is it's definitely not that. Uh, 
definitely not that uh, uh, how do you say it uh, there is actually good reason for that because uh, this game actually was made by a single person I forgot to his name what his name is I think I mentioned his name in this playthrough but uh, yeah this is a game that actually was actually made by uh, a single person which is a huge achievement nonetheless the game was okay, but I really cannot see myself actually uh, playing this game, uh, playing, you know, this game again in the future, or even playing, you know, uh, Dust and Allegiant Tale 2 in the future, because uh, I think uh, by the time that actually this game came out, there's a lot of Metroidvanias that that actually ma managed to do much much better than what the, this game did which is still not a bad game i really cannot recommend it unless you are a fan of the genre if you're a fan of the genre it might actually be worth it to look at this game for uh, for a little bit so uh, yeah uh, next up, we actually played, I did that streaming session for Hard Reset, and this is a game that I actually, uh, was, uh, was excited to play at the time, it was, uh, it's a first-person shooter, it's, uh, it's a game akin to, uh, how do you say it, uh, it's a game akin to the old-school, uh, shooters, akin to, uh, to Doom and Quake and in term of uh, gameplay and you know trying to do its modernized uh, you know applying its more you know modernized uh, uh, gameplay mechanics gameplay designs and the game was uh, fun uh, for me uh, although I thought it would actually it would be much much better than that but uh, where's the shooting in this game well, that was strange yeah there's a lot of sh you know there it's an okay game this is a, this is a game that I actually it's hard to recommend unless you're all really you know really uh, uh, into uh, into these uh, kind of old-school shooters which uh, you're not actually gonna actually gonna see a lot of them Unfortunately, there's not a lot of them, but uh, you know, and, uh, uh, there are still a lot, a lot uh, there. I think there's still a lot of better games than it, even older ones. But uh, uh, this is uh, one game that you might actually wanna, you know, uh, take a uh, take a take a look at if you're interested. I th I actually remember that the uh, the uh, the level design in this game it was uh, a head or a head or miss. Actually, especially in the later levels, I uh, I thought I would uh, enjoy this game much more than I anticipated. But no, this game was okay. It's fine. It's still uh, something that I actually hard to recommend. But uh, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Also, I played Resident Evil uh, Survivor. This is actually not the first time that I actually played the. Uh, this game and yes this is yours truly this is yours truly trying to having uh, to have us uh, a little bit of fun playing this game this game is not a horror game by the way if you're see this game isn't scary even though that uh, I uh, uh, where's where are the scary parts? <laughs> Even though I I actually find find myself uh, really really I, I don't get scared uh, easily by the way viewers I really I am I mean and and horror games are actually kind of subjective here so sometimes people will uh, you yeah, I might actually see something that's uh, uh, gonna be not frightening at all but people will actually shit their pants uh, but this game isn't scary this game I don't think this game is even fun even though that actually this game uh, encourage encourages you to play it uh, multiple times because it has multiple playthroughs multiple multiple paths I mean it has multiple paths that you can uh, uh, that you you know that you can take different weapons different enemy that you'll face and 
uh, this game uh, isn't that good. <laughs> this is not not the first time that I played this game. This is the second time that I played this game. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's on PlayStation. Uh, it's a PlayStation One game. You know, for those uh, for those uh, that are wondering, and it's uh, a really. Uh, an okay game? I think no, it's not an okay game. It's actually a subpar game. It's one of, uh, by far this is the hardest game to recommend by far. But uh, I'm a, a Resident Evil fan, by the way, viewers. So <laughs> I am, uh, and I, this was actually a part of uh, me playing, uh, wanting to play a, a couple of unknown Resident Evil games that I actually really want to play and I still I still haven't uh, touched the other one there is gonna be another game that uh, not a not a not a popular Resident Evil game that I'm probably gonna either stream or record offline I still don't know really well but hey yeah it's one it was a uh, on a uh, one setting stream took me three hours and a half to finish which is uh, you know uh, I, I, it's it's rare for me to actually play uh, for th for even four hours uh, at once uh, a day. It's really this so that is actually uh, uh, a, re a really really rare occasion, <laughs> an extremely rare occasion here. Next up, I played uh, I did a let's play of Resistance Three on the PlayStation Three. A game that people that actually praised a lot, you know, having the game that, you know, uh, having a game that is actually similar to Half-Life 2, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know about you viewers, but uh, I don't know if you can tell by uh, the channel, you know, the avatar and the channel panel, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, have... Uh, I have, I have, uh, have uh, Half-Life 2 at the highest regards. I think it's one of the best games uh, ever made. Uh, definitely my number one uh, my number one first person shooter uh, ever and still till 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 this day and uh, yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard uh, uh, for me to wait for the next installment of the game if ever. You mean if ever. That's why when I heard people talking about this game being, you know, the game that's gonna be similar to Half-Life 2. I was uh, interested. I was interested in this game. Uh, kind of mildly, uh, but kind of uh, cautious in you know my optimism because uh, I played the previous two Resistance games. I don't think uh, they were that good. I, they were okay. You know, nothing uh, s really surprising. And I, this game was okay I think this game was okay still it's still for hard for me to recommend a, a console shooter because I really didn't like playing the game on console you know if you guys actually can tolerate playing a shooter on the controller and I do I do tolerate that but it's been a while since I played a shooter on the controller and you know going back and trying to get used to the controls you know coming uh, after coming from pc it's really from pc controls it's really hard for me i gotta be honest with you so uh, but the game was uh, fine i really definitely enjoyed it it was okay still hard, something that is actually uh, hard to recommend unless you're a fan of the genre it's there's nothing special about this game unfortunately you bet uh, hey the game uh, I don't think they're gonna be making any kind of uh, new resistance uh, game in the future, but uh, uh, but uh, hey, if you are actually interested, uh, this game is actually uh, kind of different from the other two games, so you might actually be uh, you know if you if you actually if uh, this footage intrigues you so b by all means go ahead and uh, play this game it's available on the playstation 3 ah uh, next up oh my god next up viewers this is by far this is by far Probably my favorite and my, the best game that I actually let's played so far. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective on the Nintendo DS. Oh my god, this game. I am absolutely amazed by how good this game was. 
was. The writing in this game was... It, it's probably... The writing in this game is probably the best thing that I've read in my... In my... Uh, in my, you know... In my, you know, uh, video game... Uh, <laughs> in my, you know... His, you know, in my... All this time playing video game. The writing in this game is absolutely amazing. It is fantastic. Uh, the story is amazing, the characters are colorful and amazing, the uh, the settings are also really good, the story, the twists, every single character in this game has his own charm, has uh, his own moments, the gameplay mechanics are actually simple and, uh, and fun to enjoy. I really, uh, this is definitely, you can actually hear it in my voice how much I actually enjoyed this game. This game is absolutely amazing. It's I, I definitely I highly recommend this game for everyone. If you even if you're not, you know, if you even you can recommend this game for people that aren't uh, that doesn't play a lot of video games. This uh, this game is also available on uh, on uh, on the tablets, so, like I think uh, iOS tablets. I don't know if uh, if it's uh, available on the Android tablets, but uh, uh, you might actually uh, have to like uh, take a look at that. Uh, it all it's also available on the Nintendo D DS. So uh, by all means, play this game. Don't uh, don't watch my playthrough unless you're actually. Unless you are familiar with the game and you wanna, you know, you know and you wanna watch this, and you wanna, you wanna revisit uh, this game uh, again, but I definitely recommend that you guys play this game. This game is an absolute masterpiece, and easily one of the best games that I ever made, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm actually shocked that this game. I, that I actually enjoyed this game so much, but, it, but it, there's a good reason for that. The writing, the mechanics, the settings, the characters, the design, the aesthetic, the music, everything in this game is absolute top-notch, and I highly recommend this game to everyone. Everyone, even non-gamers, without a shadow of a doubt. And I definitely, this is by far the most enjoyed uh, l uh, Let's Play that I've done, that I've done so far. Absolutely. No shadow of that. Next up is uh, Analog, a hate story. It's a game that I I really enjoyed the setting, the startup of this game. Uh, the, I think the settings is actually great. The, the settings of this game is absolutely amazing, and I've uh, definitely enjoyed my first hours of this game. But as when I when I went you know deep with the story and and you know experienced the writing in this game, I discovered that the writing you know I started to notice that the writing in this game is actually not that good. I gotta be honest. It actually, at the end, it actually goes to really bad, really really bad. I I, I really this is a game that I was really excited to play because I've read a little bit about it uh, about it. And uh, the setting is really great, like in the very first hours, you know, about, you know, exploring this, uh, this, uh, this spaceship that's supposedly, uh, that's actually working uh, as like an arc, like an arc that's actually trying to find, uh, you know, uh, a good place for, for people, you know, another planet for people. Uh, to, to you know to discover because you know there's something happened on earth I don't know what happened I actually forgot the, some of the story elements there but there are some uh, some drama that actually happened uh, in that spaceship and uh, and led it to its demise and you as a protagonist you'll try to find out what happened there you know as you know as a part of uh, someone that's actually trying to find some info and and uh, archive, you know, find these info to, for people that, that uh, to archive it, uh, you know, for you know, for, uh, for for whatever reason. I actually forgot a lot about about the the story, uh, a lot of the elements of the story. But uh, I remember that this game. Uh, I definitely uh, was really excited about this game. Enjoyed the very few, st very few first hours of it, but. Uh, as I experienced the writing, I uh, started to get a little bit bored, and I started to actually, you know, uh, started to, you know to see uh, to notice how how bad the writing is, especially at the end. I don't think this 
This is, I don't think this is a well-written uh, game, uh, even though, you know, uh, which is unfortunate because I really love the settings. Do I recommend this game? I... You know, as a visual novel, there aren't many of them that are, are actually good. And, you know, I gotta be honest, this is uh, comes as the average. As the average, and by the average, I mean most of them are, as I said, are below the average. That If, you're, if you have some expectation or if you're familiar with the genre, uh, you probably might want to try this. I don't think this is a, a good game to recommend to everyone, unless you are, as I said, unless you're a fan of the genre, and you're, or at least not a fan of genre, uh, if, unless you are familiar with the genre, and the uh, the uh, the settings actually hooked you up. You might actually give it a try. I think there is a demo for it as well, so go ahead and try it out. This yeah, this game is available on PC. So word to the wise. And next up, I actually saw a playthrough of. Killer is Dead Nightmare Edition on PC, a game that was uh, that is weir really really weird. This is actually my first game that I experienced from Suda Fifty One, and uh, the game was uh, was okay. It was it was weird. It was okay. It is something that is actually kind of. The mechanics of the game are actually fun, simple, yet fun, but uh, aren't deep enough, you know, for me, for action games. Uh, for me, action games, I don't think action games need to be a uh, complica complicated to be fun, you know. But there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, charisma to this game. The aesthetics, the, the way that the character design, the, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that this game actually has uh, for itself, so... Uh, if you are a fan of, uh, of Suda51's uh, work, you might actually want to like, uh, take a look at it. This game isn't that long. This game is weird, definitely, and the story is kind of incoherent. Uh, come to think of it. Uh, especially at the end. But the, the, At the end, if you finish the game, it's actually hints that uh, there's gonna be a, yet another uh, sequel, but... Uh, But, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing another Killer is Dead, unfortunately, but, uh, hey, it's a game that is actually, I think if you, if you find this game for cheap, it might actually worth, uh, worth at least to look, uh, you know, to look into it, you know, because, you, you know, the main thing that actually should grab you in this game, it's aesthetic, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's charisma, the, ca the how, uh, the, you know, the characters uh, themselves, they are weird, they are kind of weird, uh, that's the main engagement of it. Word to the wise, this game has a lot of these, the, uh, you know, overly sexualized uh, situations, which is, I am not a big fan of, I really, this is so something that I really, really hated about this game. And I, I really hope, you know, I hope at least that, you know, video the video game... Uh, well, I'm not gonna say that I hope that the video game um, industry, you know, leave that uh, behind, but at least uh, tell me if uh, the game is actually gonna rely on it, because I think the game, uh, the minigame... What, what was the, the, uh, the, uh, the name of that... Uh, uh, mini game, something, something. Uh... Gizmo Gacha. I forgot the name, but you, uh, the you, the mini game that you you have to look uh, up a girl's uh, skirt or you know up her titties or something like that. I don't know. It's stupid. It's not fun. Uh, you cannot play this game in front of your family. That's for sure. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to play this game in front of everyone. Actually. <laughs> that is so uh, word to the wise word to the wise word to the wise after that I played uh, Ace Combat 7 easily 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 uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, genre my uh, actually one of my favorite series of all times I I'm a huge fan 
of the Ace Combat game. I've talked about how how big of a fan I am in the Let's Play itself, and um, so I'm not gonna say anything. You know, I'm not gonna say the talk about the history of me and my, you know my history of. Uh, with these video games, but this is a, a this is a game that I've that I've that I've enjoyed. I think this game is really great. Probably in gameplay mechanics, it's probably the best one so far. I really like the uh, the new mechanics that I that they have added. I the story was fine. I really don't. I really ca cannot put uh, the story you know uh, where the story stands compared to the other games, but in Gameplay mechanics, this is by far the best one so far, so yeah, this is yet another game, highly recommended. Another game that is actually highly recommended, available on the PC for the first time, you can experience this game at 60 Hz, absolute, and the game, I and I played this game on 144 Hz, and it, this game was an absolute blast, I've enjoyed every minute of it and by, by far and i've did uh, uh, some streaming session of it you know trying to get uh, you know s rank in every possible uh, mission and i had fun a lot with, uh, with that too so yeah this is another game highly recommend it so go ahead and buy this game viewers uh, uh, even if you're not fan a fan of the genre this is definitely a game that might actually y the this is guy this is probably one of the best and definitely if you're new to the genre it's definitely fine to to jump uh, on the genre with this game absolutely fun game fun mechanics available on po bo on uh, on on PC uh, I played this on PC and it's also available on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one so uh, do you do yourself a favor and play that game it's uh, a fun game without without a doubt. Uh, yeah. Also, I actually uh, played, uh, you know, I streamed. I streamed uh, a... Uh, I, I streamed... This is the one of the uh, the games that I've... That I've... Uh, rarely... This is something that I've rarely done so far, which... Uh, I've played a game that is called Eternal Ring on the PlayStation 2. It's a game made from by From Software, which, you know the uh, the guys that are known uh, to uh, to make uh, the 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 Dark Souls games, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne, Sakiro, uh, and uh, Kingsfield. I don't know. I, I don't think you people know. Most of you people know about Kingsfield, but this is a game that is actually more akin to King uh, Field's playstyle, so... And I love this style, I love this uh, first-person dungeon crawler games, I, I really do enjoy them. And this is a game that I've actually played on my PlayStation 2, which is... Uh, I've been having a lot of troubles with it, and this is... Uh, I'm, I'm not using the OSSC, I'm not gonna bo uh, bore you guys to... Uh, by, uh, by the story, but I have a video, uh, you know, talking about that, so... I have a video on my channel talking about that, so if anyone is interested, uh, go ahead and look that, uh, uh, you know, look that up. Or uh, ask me in the chat and I'm gonna link you the video. But, but yeah, this is a game, it's, uh, it's really hard to recommend unless you're a really fan of the genre. And uh, is this a good uh, game? To actually start with, uh, it's really hard to, to actually find this game in the first place. We're talking about a PlayStation 2 game with a game that's not that... Uh, with a game that is actually not that... Uh, not that... Uh, it's not that, uh, you know... Uh, uh, how do you say it? It's not that popular, so not a lot of people actually know the, uh, the existence about this game, so... Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's a good game, um, it's an okay game, I'm not gonna say it's a good game, it's something that I actually enjoyed, I'm not gonna, s I'm, not, I'm not seeing myself actually re replaying this game in the future, I gotta be honest with you viewers, but I'm definitely going to try, I'm definitely gonna try and play the, uh, the, uh, the, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the PlayStation 4 uh, Kingsfield game, and there's also another game, I forgot what its name is called. Abyss? Something something Abyss. 
which is uh, definitely follows the same formula. It's a game that is actually made for the PlayStation 2 as well. So, yeah, uh, look forward for that for those who are actually you know fans of these kind of games. You know, in the fu in the uh, far, uh, it's not in the near future. Actually, in the far future. So who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it is. I enjoyed it for what it is. Uh, yeah, this is the, actually the video uh, that is actually uh, that's, that's talking about my issue with the OSSC. I'm not gonna bother with it. But uh, next up, I did a let's play session of Trauma Center: Second Opinion. I actually emulated this uh, game on my PC, even though it's a Wii game. I talked about the reason why this game is. Uh, uh, why I didn't play this game on uh, on the Wii, but uh, uh, I, this game is perfectly playable on PC, especially with the with the Dolphin Emulator being uh, really, really good. So this game is really good. I actually enjoyed it a lot. I think the mechanics in this game actually works probably much, much better than it worked on the Wii, and the controls were. Definitely responsive on PC once you actually uh, configure everything uh, out. There are a couple of uh, uh, mechanics that are actually kind of uh, wonky uh, trying to emulate it on the PC, but it doesn't. It won't take you that. Uh, it won't take you that uh, uh, that much. Actually, let me go ahead and change into a gameplay uh, section here. So yeah, this is a game that where you play as you know as a, as a doctor. As a doctor, and you know, try to uh, you know, trying to figure your uh, as a surgeon actually, and d try to you know, to treat your uh, your uh, patients. And there's uh, some sort of uh, uh, you know, an epidemic that's gonna happen, and there's gonna be a story, and uh, there's gonna be some sort of uh, a strange power that you actually possess. And you know, the the game will actually talk about that. Uh, um, n the story isn't that good. Uh, gotta be honest but the gameplay itself is really really good I definitely highly recommend this game definitely this is a game uh, that I can ha definitely highly recommend I actually uh, did buy uh, uh, did got did buy the rest of the series so look forward for this game in the future uh, viewers look forward for it uh, to be let's played in this channel in the future in the future viewers highly recommended highly recommended without a shadow of a doubt uh, oh, next up! Oh, I definitely played a lot of video games in one year, huh? I'm actually impressed. I'm actually really, really impressed. Next up is my first ever Dreamcast game. Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage. And uh, uh, this is a game that I... Uh, you know, it's actually it's supposed to be... You know, this is a, a game actually that is... Uh, uh, that is, you know, it's a, uh, it's uh, what do you call it? It's, this is a uh, based on a, uh, on an anime, on a cartoon. On the, I'm not familiar. I don't know anime, manga, cartoon, uh, comic book. I, I don't know which one it is uh, that came out first. But this game is based on that, uh, on an, uh, let's call it an anime, an anime called Berserk. Which is uh, supposedly famous. I'm not, I don't watch uh, anime viewers, so I'm not uh, familiar with uh, with it. But I talk about I've talked uh, I've talked about a game that I have actually seen on the PlayStation 2, which is a game about this game, Berserk. Uh, and uh, I am uh, I actually managed to get a copy of it, and I'm planning to play it on uh, uh, in the far future. Actually, I don't know. I'm not gonna say in the near future, but hopefully, will be I'll be able to to play it. Uh, Sooner, a game. This is an action game. My first ever Dreamcast game. I this is a game. This is a game available on the Dreamcast. It's an action game that you know will allow you to play with the with the main protagonist, which is I don't know. His name is uh, Gatsu or Guts. Is it Guts or Gatsu? I forgot. I think it's. I think I think his name is Guts. I think his name is Gatsu in the Japanese version, but. Uh, I don't know, the localized was actually Guts, or something like uh, that, I'm not really familiar. And you can see that uh, gameplay is really wonky. The gameplay is really wonky, it's hard to recommend this game uh, at all. And But this game was surprisingly short, views. really surprisingly short. I actually, I am surprised that this game was that short, but uh, yeah, you can finish this game in really... Uh, 
in, in really few sessions. I don't think I've played this game, like, probably, probably this game took me about three to four, th to four sessions, which is... Uh, which I, I was actually surprised. The game isn't that uh, good, I gotta be honest, so I really have to recommend, but I guess if you're a really fan of the, uh, of the cartoon, comic books, or whatever it is, you might actually want to look uh, at it, uh, assuming that you actually own uh, a Dreamcast, that is. But yeah, that is uh, uh, sort of the Berserk. And of course, I have did a, uh, a playthrough of uh, Resident Evil uh, streaming session, actually, of Resident Evil Code Veronica. This is the first time that I actually played... Uh, Oh, let me, let's go ahead and check uh, the uh, goddamn cutscene. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this, uh, this cutscene. This is, uh, this is by far, this is by the way my, actually, I, I, I always thought that this game was uh, my, uh, it's actually tied as my, my best Resident Evil game ever that I actually have played. But actually after finishing this game and re-experiencing things, I think this game, is actually, I think uh, Resident Evil 2 is actually a better game overall than this. Mainly because of the, uh, you know, of the level design and gameplay mechanics. Uh, I think the level design in this game actually kind of hurt it a little bit. It's still fun. I think this is a, this is a really solid game. This is really fun. I really definitely enjoyed it. I'm, I, I am a huge fan of the Resident Evil games. Or at least I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil games that... Uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, that stuck with the isometric uh, tank uh, uh, tank control that actually relies on survival and puzzle solving and uh, and uh, and uh, you know item management and uh, inventory management. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a, a game that I've actually enjoyed. It's really fun. It's not scary for those for those who are people that get scared a lot. Or get scared easily, but uh, this is a game that I uh, definitely recommend. And this is the first time that I actually played the uh, that I actually played the. Uh, hmm, why does the quality uh, look like ass? Hmm. Definitely didn't look. Uh, the game did definitely. Uh, it's probably because of the cutscene itself, because it's uh, upscaled uh, from from uh, from a Dreamcast uh, for uh, 480. 4 to 80p resolution, so I guess uh, upscaling that is gonna be uh, and retaining the quality is gonna be uh, horrendous. But yeah, this is a game that I really enjoyed. I, the, as I said, this is the first time that I actually played this game, uh, uh, the HD uh, version of it, uh, because uh, all of my experience before that w was with the PlayStation 2 version. I do own the game. Uh, the uh, the uh, the Code Veronica, not the Code Veronica X version, which is on the Dream uh, the Dreamcast, and I actually thought about playing it, but uh, you know because uh, I wanted to experience it first time. But I but uh, I thought I I thought I would actually try and the, at least remember the things that I actually forgot about this game. So I thought I would actually start with the PlayStation Three uh, version. Which is was was uh, extremely uh, hard to see. It too. this this version of the game was extremely dark. You cannot see anything in this game. And you know, for this uh, session, uh, for this session, I actually, uh, you know, through the power of, uh, <laughs> you know, of uh, uh, post production. I, it's not actually post production because I, I've been streaming this. Actually, for 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 you people that are actually watching uh, this playthrough. I actually increased the brightness, but for me, for me, when I when I played the this game, it was super dark. It's really, it was really hard to see. So, uh, word to the wise: if you uh, actually want to play this game on no, either PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360, I recommend that you uh, you make sure that your uh, monitor that you're using it has uh, you know like bri brightness adjustment and. Uh, and be ready to sacrifice, you know, uh, sacrifice the uh, the picture quality. 
or you can actually uh, play uh, the game uh, play the game on uh, to play the PlayStation 2 uh, version on the PlayStation 4. I think they released the the PlayStation 2 version uh, as a PlayStation 2 classic on the PlayStation 4. So, or you can pretty much uh, you can pretty much uh, emulate this. I think this game emulates uh, fine as well. So you can do that. But yeah, this game definitely highly recommended. Uh, definitely. Uh, if you're into uh, these kind of games, uh, I, which is uh, which definitely I am, so I uh, this is a really fun game, and I definitely I'm I'm gonna I'm seeing myself that uh, in the probably three, four, five years from now I'm gonna replay this game again, probably the probably the Dreamcast version next time, huh? Also, viewers, I actually. Uh, Uh, this is which one? Which one is this? This is uh, ah, this is the first one. Yeah, I played. Uh, I also played uh, Castlevania uh, 64, which is uh, which is uh, this uh, this uh, this session is actually play Castlevania. This uh, this playthrough, uh, or at least this version, I played the Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, which is uh, supposedly the best version available if you want to play. Uh, as I heard, but uh, this is a game that I actually enjoy. I th I heard a lot of bad things about this game, but I actually enjoyed it a lot. I actually enjoyed the uh, you know moving around in this uh, game. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, you know climbing. Uh, I enjoyed the platforming section in this game. Surprisingly, uh, this game was really fun. I really enjoyed exploring the game. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, Exploring the game uh, this game. I thought this game is f was fun aesthetic was absolutely beautiful I mean, I I was really Struggling to find the weakness account in this game. It's probably this probably this version is probably worse than the uh, Than the 64 version. I really don't know, but I've definitely enjoyed this game definitely Recommend this game for the for, for people that I actually enjoy. And by far, uh, by, by the way, this is actually the first time that I've played this game. Uh, also, this is actually one of the rare rare occasions that I actually uh, did this. You know, where I uh, uh, stream a, a blind playthrough. But I, I don't. I didn't think. Uh, but the, I actually no. I actually this is the only. I because I started the. The game with the the first character I forgot what, what's his name. You you play uh, that that character that changes into a wolf. So uh, when I uh, decided to actually stream the other uh, session, I thought I'm not gonna be uh, uh, I'm not gonna be witnessing a lot of changes because I don't think there's gonna be a lot of changes and changes in story and whatnot. So I definitely. Uh, I, uh, so, uh, and yeah, there wasn't anything, uh, that was actually, uh, uh, what, what the hell, do, why did I do a reset here? I really don't know why. But, yeah, I definitely enjoyed this game. Oh, I think I'm, yeah, I think I've done, I've done this one, uh, thing that I actually wanted to try and, uh, kill this boss without, uh, without ting taking a single hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Damn, I've been doing that for the whole session too. God damn. I've been doing that for the whole session. But yeah, this is a game that I really definitely if you're in if you are interested in this game, by, by all means go ahead and play it. I think this game is um uh, I think this game uh I've enjoyed it definitely. But if you're uh if you're uh if you're uh, interested in this game, by all by all means go ahead and try it. This game uh as I said, this game is fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, uh, next up. This is a hard project that I really want to talk about also. This is uh, Shadow Hearts. Uh, this is uh, Shadow Hearts on the PlayStation 1. A game that I absolutely adore. This is an absolutely amazing game. I I'm not going to say it's an amazing game. This game is not that... Uh, good, unfortunately, but I like the game because mainly because of the aesthetic of the game because it's unique. Now, of course, the Judgment Ring in this game had a lot of potential. Yeah, the game uh, had a lot of potential, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, uh, but this project uh, did uh, was a little bit challenging to me because. Uh, 
As I said, I don't have a lot of free times here, viewers. So playing playing an RPG will it will actually take a a lot of time. I think if I remember correctly, this game uh, I started this playthrough like in uh, in probably in in late two thousand and. Uh, late 2000 late 2018 like probably on uh, probably like in july or or even the yeah even yeah i've actually started this play but playthrough even before i actually uplo uploaded my first playthrough uh, which uh, my first let's play ever which which is uh, amazing and i actually actually finish uh, this game on april 2019. It took me a lot of time to actually finish uh, this game, uh, it, and o it only took me like uh, 40. How many hours did I did it, this game actually take me? Uh, around 50 hours, actually. It, it took me around 50 hours, and my problem, you know, with the challenge that I actually got from um, playing this game is actually keeping this game. You know, it's it came from editing stuff out. You know, as I said here, uh, as he, as I can see uh, or show you here. Uh, viewers, I actually was trying to edit out uh, the rep re repeated re the repeated combat combat section because I, I gotta be honest with you, viewers. I think watching re you know uh, watching people just uh, taking out trash mobs one after the other, the other after the other after after the other, it's gonna be boring to watch. And my idea here is actually when trying to. To my my number one goal here is actually to to edit out uh, the combat you know the repeated combat sections in the game so and actually if, and uh, you know not surprising this actually takes a lot of work to do in you know in editing wise and as I said as I said before viewers I don't have a lot of time so actually uh, actually edit, editing this game. Editing uh, this game is actually, uh, uh, as I said before, you can see here, I actually uh, released this uh, footage at August uh, August 26th, and I actually finished the, finished, uh, the game like goddamn four months earlier, so it, it actually took me that much of a time editing all of that out. It took me months to actually uh, upload this, uh, this uh, playthrough, which is... Uh, uh, something that I actually, in the end, I think I'm proud of, and I I've grown to have a lot of much uh, respect to people that actually do let's plays uh, for RPGs, for long RPGs. It's absolutely, uh, I have the the highest of respect to actually for the guys that actually try to make these games entertaining to watch. It's hard to make these rpgs entertaining to watch because you'll end up you know but it's hard to make these games entertaining to watch especially we you know when dealing with the with the trash mobs with with the bad narrative and bad pacing of rpg games which is something uh, it's something that is uh, actually some unfortunately it is something that is common in japanese rpg games uh unfortunately so much respect to anyone that actually uh, does let's plays or stream RPG games. So good on you, viewers. Uh, good on good on you, people. Good on you. For Shadow, for the game itself, I, I, as I said, the game. I don't think this game is really good. It does has a lot of potential, but it's one of my favorites. Like I have a soft spot for this game, especially in, in terms of story and characters, especially at the end. Everything. Like this game, from one point to another, it's actually this game actually gets better the more that you play it, especially in terms of story and characters. And the characters themselves aren't that interesting, but uh, the main, the uh, the the protagonist and the hor uh, and the heroine of this uh, story is actually, you know, there's something unique about them. And you know, if you guys are actually interested in this game. I, as I said, it's really hard to recommend uh, this game, especially if you're new to the J uh, JRPG genre. But if you are familiar, you might actually want to look at it, mainly because this game has a unique, uh, 
uh, settings, unique aesthetics, uh, the uh, the the designs of the monsters, even the description of the monsters are actually interesting to to read. I really definitely enjoyed uh, my time actually exploring all of that. It was fun. It was fun. It was a challenge. As I said, it was really challenging. Uh, it was a lot of work trying to uh, to bring this uh, playthrough, you know, up to you viewers and. And uh, at the end, once I actually uploaded uh, this game, I definitely felt of uh, I felt content actually. Like I felt this uh, warm heart, uh, the, that warm feeling of actually accomplishing things that uh, that I don't think uh, you know in the little short uh, amount of time that uh, that I actually have every day that I actually I actually managed to. To upload a a playthrough of a goddamn RPG, a Japanese RPG game, which is it, it might sound simple, viewers, but it actually does uh, require a lot of work edi editing out all of these things. And I do the minimal, the minimalist of stuff trying to edit things uh, out, uh, viewers. I don't do a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I do not do a lot of uh, fa fancy things, you know. Un unfortunately, because as I said, I just want to showcase the gameplay. My my my. Uh, yours truly's uh, uh, characteristics and charisma that to carry out the uh, you know the the uh, the gameplay itself. Even if though if the, sometimes the the game uh, the gameplay the uh, you, you know you know how how it is, viewers. That actually the uh, people will actually watch uh, someone play a certain game not because uh, of the game itself, but because of uh, you know the the. Uh, the character because the character of uh, the let's player himself so it's hard it's really hard and uh, hopefully uh, you guys actually enjoyed this and uh, hint hint wink wink stay tuned for uh, for the uh, continuation of the story spoiler uh, spoiler uh, spoiler alert I actually finished Shadow Hearts too <laughs> By uh, by this time, I actually finished Shadow Hearts 2. I still haven't edit edited anything uh, from it, and you, you viewers should not expect uh, uh, seeing the playthrough of that uh, of that game anytime soon. This is gonna this uh, you know editing all of that is gonna take a long time, viewers. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a long time. 90 hours. I have 90 hours of footage, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> ho oh boy ho oh boy but yeah but it's definitely uh something that i've really really enjoyed and finally the ongoing uh, uh playthrough of uh broken sword 2 the smoking mirror the remastered edition uh, I've been, uh, as I said, I've been a, bit, a big fan of uh, the point-and-click games, and I've been a big fan of the Broken Sword uh, games as well, and uh, I've definitely enjoyed this playthrough, uh, the playthrough of this game. Even though there, uh, there were a lot of things that were actually were weird, you know, especially for, for you know, for the pacing uh, for this game, especially for the uh, for the uh, for the later sections of the game were. Were kind of uh, weird actually but uh, in the end I've definitely enjoyed the game I've definitely enjoyed uh, uh, play uh, I've definitely enjoy uh, I I enjoy uh, playing uh, point-and-click games a, a lot and actually I'm planning on playing uh, something in the near future like not a point-and-click adventure per se but it's an inv adventure game that's I think you can call it a point-and-click yeah, I think, yeah, I think you can call it a point and click. And that game is gonna be a classic, uh, by the way, viewers. And it's gonna be one of, uh, and, uh, it's gonna be a game that I actually played before and I'm gonna replay again, but I'm not gonna stream it. I'm gonna do a let's play of it because, uh, I think it's gonna be, uh, it's work, be it's, it's gonna work better for me. And, uh... Uh, that game is a part of a series, as a part of a, of tr of a trilogy, and I'm and I'm planning to uh, to record uh, the the tr the, tr the whole tr trilogy as a let's play. Hopefully, viewers. I'm not, I'm not sure about uh, Broken Swords though. 
if I'm going to play all of the games, though. But I'm I'm buying the uh, the uh, the first installment. I think I think I own the first the third installment. I really don't know. I have to double check my library my library if I'm if I own the game or not. So, but if uh, I I remember actually playing the third game on the X the on the original Xbox. But uh, if I'm going to replay the game, I'm gonna replay it on the uh, on the PC. And if I'm gonna replay it on PC. Uh, as well, I'm gonna do a let's play of it. Uh, hopefully in the, hopefully in the near f in the near future. And this uh, the play uh, the uh, this playthrough hasn't ended, although uh, which uh, this is part uh, 22. Yeah, we're, I think we're about to actually finish this uh, uh, this playthrough of this uh, of the Broken Sword series. So hopefully you guys are actually enjoying that. So yeah. This is what I've been doing for uh, for uh, for for the whole for a whole year, I guess. Uh, this is all the games that I actually played, uh, even for uh, on stream. I I did also play uh, No More Heroes on the PlayStation Three, which is a game uh, that I haven't you know I haven't archived because I stopped playing because uh, I didn't enjoy it actually. I don't think this uh, it's a game that actually is. Uh, it is worth my time. I definitely didn't enjoy it, uh, and uh, was uh, it was a boring experience. I I don't think there's any recording uh, of it actually. If people want to actually look back to, to the thing to the games that I played, I also played uh, Bloodstained: Ritual of the Night. Although I did have a recording of this game, but I've decided to not actually have it online because of really. Re uh, of reasonable reasons. I might actually talk about these reasons uh, much later. Viewers, about why I don't have a uh, a playthrough of uh, of uh, of uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. But who knows? I might actually go ahead and uh, play replay this game again because I've definitely enjoyed. Uh, uh, I've definitely enjoyed it, and hopefully, uh, and I def I highly recommend it. Actually, one of the it's an uh, it's a Koji uh, it's a it's a it's an it's an Igarashi game, which is you know the the Godfather. I think it's it's fair to call to call him the Godfather of the Castlevania games. They it what what uh, he was responsible for the best games in the series w without the shadow of a doubt. Especially when we're talking about the Metroidvania uh, uh, game. So uh, that is actually one game that I actually really recommend. Bloodstained: Ritual of the Night available on uh, all the modern uh, platforms. Although I do recommend uh, playing it on PC mainly because of the performance. I heard the Switch uh, version still has shitty uh, performance. I'm not sure about that. You probably guys, uh, uh, people that actually have uh, are updated on the issue, might actually know about that. So. So yeah, viewers, this is it. One year, one year of. Uh, of uh, content, one year of uh, one year of uh, video games, and I appreciate uh, you know. Not there's not a lot of people of you here, uh, you know, which is not a big deal for me. But I appreciate people that are uh, still you know that uh, stuck uh, with me uh, through this year, and uh, more content to come, viewers, in the future. Without a shadow of a doubt, there's uh, still a lot of games that I want to play. Oh, you guys, you have no idea that I I have a huge backlog of, of of games. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea about the games that I actually really want to play. Like, uh, let me let me actually try and bring it in here. If I can do that, I have a list of the games of my of my uh, backlog of games that I want to play. Uh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! These are the games. Some of them uh, that I actually finished, like uh, like Wild Arms. These games that I actually uh, finished playing, and this is a game. This is a game that I actually replayed actually. But there are there there are a lot of games ranging bet uh, ranging between the. Uh, 
the 8-bit era until the, uh, the the current generation generation of consoles. I have a lot of games that I want to play in years. You, ha you guys have no idea. Look at this. Look at the all of this content. Holy hell! <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh yes, viewers. I uh, definitely. Uh, so yeah, look forward to, uh, for these. Uh, um, look forward for these uh, content uh, uh, in the future. And again, viewers, I re really appreciate uh, you, uh, you know, sticking uh, to the channel. I'm, I'm apologize for the for the uh, for the video being so long. I actually didn't have uh, uh, an idea for what I'm trying to uh, for what I'm trying. To say here, other than you know, have you know, celebrate the occasion and ha and have a big uh, thank you for the people that have actually been watching. And I still, uh, you know, and you know, give a and you know, give an idea, general of an idea uh, of the objective that I'm trying to do here in this uh, in this uh, well with the, what I'm trying to do here. So uh, please. Feel free to to join me on uh, twitch.tv ha slash have for nice day uh, uh, because I want to talk to you uh, viewers I want to talk to you 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 guys that are passionate about video games feel free to talk about, uh, about video games with me we'll probably start you know something really uh, really fun. Uh, a community that's go gonna grow more and more and please if you have any kind of suggestion please uh, please uh, leave them uh, either here on the uh, on the uh, on the comment on, on this video or uh, I think I have an ask me <laughs> I have a dot ask me I, I it's been a while since I actually uh, uh, checked this one out but uh, yeah I do have uh, <laughs> I do have it uh, in ask.fm uh, if people want ha to ask me any kind of questions, but uh, yeah, my my ears are always open uh, for uh, for uh, for, a su for suggestion for suggestions. And as I said before, more content to come. Okay, this is gonna be it for uh, for now. I'm gonna. Hopefully, I'm gonna see you uh, next year on the on uh, on uh, on October thirty uh, first, two thousand and twenty. Right? It's supposedly two thousand twenty. Yeah, in two thousand twenty, I'll definitely try and check you out, viewers, and you know, hopefully for the uh, uh, two year anniversary of this uh, channel. Thank you very very much uh, for watching. Thank you very very much for. For uh, for you know for st for sticking by, and I will see you in the future with more uh, content. So have a good one. So have a good one, everyone. Peace.